Hi, yeah. So hopefully you can hear me okay because I'm in a different room. So this is the last example for this part. This is a particle P moves along the x axis. Now, this is quite interesting, this, because you've got two different equations. You've got one which maps the first four seconds for the velocity, and one that, match, uh, that maps the, the anything bigger than four. So we've got to be careful with this. So we've got to be really careful with using right equations. So it says the greatest speed, so I know that's when my acceleration is zero, because I'm not accelerating anymore. Uh, I remain the naught to four range. So I've got to be using the first equation. So I remember that the acceleration is differentiating the velocity. Is the color. So my acceleration is differentiating 8t, so that becomes an 8, and minus 3 over 2t squared becomes minus 3t. So the greatest speed, so I want to put some form of uh, understanding, so my acceleration is 0, so 8 minus 3t is 0, 8 is 3t, so 8 over 3 is t. Uh, now that gives me the time, and then I just want to sub that now into the velocity. So my velocity was, where is it? 8 lots of, oops, 8 over 3, minus 3 over 2, uh, 8 over 3, whoops, can't write my 8 over 3, squared. Gives me a velocity of 32 over 3 meters per second. So that's the first bit done. So it wants a distance when t is 4. So that's going to be integrating the first equation. So part b, my distance is integrating my velocity dt. Um, now I must be, oh yeah, look at this here. It tells me when t is zero, p, uh, s is zero. All right, so let's have a look at this one. So I want to integrate my 8t minus 3 over t, 8t squared dt. So s is going to be 4t squared minus a half t cubed, that's right, there, plus c. I know that when t is zero, s is zero. Now because I haven't got any e's or l's or sines or cosies, that will mean that c is zero. So s is 4t squared minus a half t cubed. Right, now I want it for t is four, so when t is 4, so let me extend the page a bit, uh, s is 4 lots of 4 squared minus a half 4 cubed. So it was 32 metres. Yeah, it does. There. So oh, 32 metres, so that's, oh, that's part of B done. Right then, let's have a look at C. So it says a time when P is instantaneously at rest. Okay, so instantaneously at rest is when V is zero. And I want it for the second equation. So I know the velocity for the second equation is 16 minus 2t. And I want it at rest. So V is zero. So 16 minus 2t is zero. So 16 is 2t. 8 is t. So that's the time. Wowzers. Now we've got to be careful with this because what this is telling me um, is that it changes direction at t is 8. Because this next bit, for the first 10 seconds, I've got to think now if it was displacement, I'd be fine. But because it's distance, I need to think about it as being from, from 0 to 4 seconds using the first equation. Then I want it from 4 to 8 seconds using the second equation. 
but then I want it to come back from eight to ten seconds. So I've got to be a little bit careful with that. So I'm going to cheat. Uh, now do I know? Do I know the? Oh, yeah, I know the distance for the first one, don't I? So from not to four seconds, I know that that's thirty-two meters. That's okay. So from four to eight seconds, I'm going to do the integral of uh, 16 minus 2t dt between 4 and 8. I'm going to cheat, use my calculator, and I get 16 meters. Then I'm going to look between 8 and 10. So I'm going to do 8 to 10 plus 16 minus 2t dt. And that will give me minus 4 meters. So I know I've actually got, so I've actually got 4 meters there. So if I've just done like the straight through to 10 without that knowledge that it stopped at 8, I've got the wrong answer. So total distance, I suppose to say total is one word. I don't know why it came out a bit wrong than that. So the total distance is the 32 from the first bit, the 16 plus 4, so I've got 52 metres. If it had been the displacement, well, you would have just done it straight from the 32 plus, you could have just done 4 to 10, and it would have sorted out for you. Right, I think that's done, to be honest. That's a look. The Grand Consolidation next page. Uh, I can't find this soon to go over. Yep, we are. Right, well done, everybody. Bye.